Good morning. You know, with the current state of affairs in the world, I've been thinking a lot about emotions and the part that emotions play in our lives. You know, growing up, emotions ran my life. Things had to look a certain way in order for me to be happy. And now what I realize is all that that did is bring me a great deal of suffering. You know, we have no control over what goes on in the outside world. The only thing we have control over is the way we respond to it. I read yesterday from You Are Here, and he talks a little about emotions, Venerable Tet Yat Han, and also about the practice of letting go. He says, it is essential to understand that an emotion is merely something that arises, remains, and then goes away. A storm comes, it stays a while, and then it moves away. At the critical moment, remember that you are much more than your emotions. He said, if there are things that are causing you to suffer, you have to know how to let go of them. Happiness can be attained by letting go, including letting go of your ideas about happiness. You imagine that certain conditions are necessary to your happiness, but deep looking will reveal to you that those notions are the very things standing in the way of happiness and are making you suffer. He says the Buddha taught that joy and pleasure are based on surrender. On letting go. I am letting go is a powerful practice. Are you able to let go of things? If not, your suffering will continue. You know, for years I held on so much to the way things had to look and had to be. And uh, I don't do that anymore. I just try to let things be. And what has helped me is my meditation practice, to just sit and be. I am not my environment. I am not the things around me. All I am is me. And the only control I have is the way that I react to those things around me. So I wish you peace. I wish you love. Please, please stay safe.